What's the deal, y'all? It's your boy Rich Dollar Six Four Maker of Men Podcast. And today we're gonna get into this topic today. This is the topic today. Did Snoop Dogg and Harry O. Harris conspire against Suge Knight to steal death row records from him? Um we're gonna play an audio call from Harry O. Harris calling to his lawyer from San Quentin Prison. And he's going to be discussing what's going on with Suge Knight and Lydia Harris um, and some judges. And matter of fact, I'm going to just let y'all hear it. At the tape, where she going to just take this money from from Suge and, and then she going to go and perjure herself in court and say she didn't do the deal. So I just want y'all to hear how these guys, y'all be appraising. You know, all you guys are supposed to be black and brothers and be proud of a black man. How he played the system. So, the voice you're hearing is Reggie Wright. Reggie Wright Jr., former Compton police officer, former uh, Suge Knight confidant. Well, you know, current Suge Knight confidant, friend of Suge Knight. Um, directly in the dealings with the death row days, uh, Mob James, Buntry, Tupac, you know, all of them. This is Shook's right-hand man. So um, this is, I wouldn't say a credible source, but I could say this is a direct source into the into the, um, the dealings and the business between Shook Knight, Harry O'Harris, uh, Snoop Dogg, Tupac, and all of them. So let's get into that. And now they took money from Shook Knight. And all with, he was trying to act in good faith with them. Then I want y'all to also check out this picture. Where, man, I'm taking the gloves off now. I got plenty, plenty of tapes of you, man. Michael, talking from prison. And, um, no, y'all need to be cool. Show some homage to Shirt Knight. Stop dissing me. The only subliminals. Because Snoop, you know the real. You know should stop you. Okay, you guys okay. can't see this this picture, but I'm going to post a picture up. I'm going to get the picture and I'm going to post it up. You have Snoop Dogg uh, throwing up the mob sign, or what appears to be the mob sign, allegedly. Um, you can see there's a, I'm going to show you, it's a side-by-side -side photo of Suge Knight and some of his confidants or his friends, his brothers, throwing up their mob sign. And in the, in the, the adjacent video uh, picture, you're gonna see a uh, Snoop Dogg throwing a similar hand sign. And the claim of blood set. I will not remind you, here's this picture with you throwing up the mob hood, trying to represent the mob. And Suge the one told you, don't do that, don't do that. You from Long Beach. There ain't no power rules of blood in Long Beach. You stay a crook. You stay where you from. And you claim you're a crook. I notice all the crooks. This is, you know, giving you props for hollering crip on the Super Bowl stage and doing a crip walk. Which is cool. I have nothing against crooks. Power rules or bloods. But you know the real. Come on, Reggie. Let's, let's, get, let's get into the call. You guys. So, let's get into this call. AKA The Rat and his attorney Stephen Goldberg and a con man named Al Brown who are boasting about a judge conspiring with them to obtain a $107 million judgment against Suge Knight and Death Row Records. You will hear evidence that Michael and Lydia Harris conspired to receive a $1 million settlement from Suge Knight and Death Row Records which Michael Harris is denying having any knowledge of her making the settlement. Also in this tape conversation, you will hear evidence of the three men all but admitting to threatening Suge's attorney Lamont Givens to resign from the case, which was later learned. He also signed without a power of attorney 
Shooks and Death Row's rights to file for appeal on the judgment. With all of this evidence recently discovered by Suge alone, the bankruptcy trustees are still refusing to confer with Suge to listen to this new evidence and they are in the process of settling this matter with the Harris's for the third time so they can sell off his assets. In America, we as a society cannot allow this to happen because if it could happen to him, one day it could happen to you. Now listen objectively. Good afternoon, Miss Augustine Cabot. This is MCI. This call and your telephone number will be recorded and monitored. I have a collect call from Michael Steve Cooper, an inmate at San Quentin State Prison in California to accept, dial or say five and hold. To refuse, hang up. Five. Hold. Your call is being connected. Thank you for using MCI. Thank you. Thank you. One moment, please. Yes. We had this thing with Judge today, who I've been in front of before. The atmosphere in this room in this deposition is pretty formal looking. Right. We're in a big, nice conference room. The judge is trying to help us. Right. Sitting there off the record, like giving me advice. No, he ain't. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's sitting there saying, before we go on the record, let me give you some clues. <laughs> and he's going to tell me what I should say, and then what he's going to say, and this. <laughs> wow. Yeah. He's mad that they didn't show up. So wait a minute. Let me stop this right here. We're listening to a guy from prison calling to an attorney who's saying that he was in a formal meeting with the judge and the judge is telling him what he should say and he's t and the judge is telling him what he's going to say. I mean, I mean, 
this guy is gonna lose his mind, man. You know, because him and Sugar got problems. I mean, wow, man. He, he, he accused the judge of being biased. I thought he resigned yesterday. You are. <laughs> well, he did. He said he did. And these guys are laughing that they they already have the judge on the squeeze and Suge Knight's attorneys are basically begging and pleading for somebody to give them some fairness in this trial. But when when the squeeze play is going down, the squeeze play is going down, there's nothing you can do about it. You see, they control the game. So what is he doing today? I know. <laughs> he says, if he reinstates himself into the case, he's really, well, he says he still resigned. basically laughing their ass off because the guy is accusing them exactly of what they're doing and they're laughing their ass off because even if he can prove it he still can't prove it because who's he got to go tell the people that he's conspiring with There's no evidence. The evidence is, what is the evidence that's going to change the case? There is no evidence. He just didn't like the ruling. I don't like the ruling, so I'm going to change, I'm going to change the case. Clearly heard uh, Harry O on the phone with his attorney uh, discussing a meeting that he had with the judge prior to the to the court proceedings even taking place, which is a violation. The judge is telling you what he's going to say. He's telling you what you should say. And this is all surrounding around death row, one hundred and seven million dollars. Um, settlement to Lydia Harris and Harry Harry O. Harris. So, did 
Harry O and Suge Knight, I mean, excuse me, did Harry O and Snoop Dogg conspire to steal Death Row from Suge Knight? Was the the uh, the display of the Tams hamburger stand where Suge went to jail at, got his 28 year sentence in the death in the show, um, in the halftime at the Super Bowl show the other day? Was that a shot at Suge Knight? Just something for you to think about. We don't have a judge. We don't have a dog in the fight. We just present the evidence and we just uh, putting that out there for you guys to take a look at that and tell me what you think and uh, drop a comment and let me know what you do, uh, how you feel about that. Um, holla at you what.